Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to the sequel to Uninspired Introductions that are unoriginal, starring the return of a sudden goddamn hailstorm, which you might be able to hear considering it's early April and this is happening. Uh, I have no qualms. Welcome back to Bravely Default, where previously we had said shame to that slandering King Kamer, and now it's time to move on to Chapter 2. And we could so do that if we desire, however there is one small bit of business we need to attend to out here, unfortunately, and that's making nighttime. But first... Departing already, Lady Vestal? Forgive me, I am Prime Minister Dominus Harina. Your words to the people shook me to my core. Between you and me, I suspect they rattled the King's cage as well. He looked positively deflated. Small wonder. Having his little speech so thoroughly derailed must have been a blow to his royal ego. It will recover, though. It always does. Meanwhile, where will you go from here? To Flora, land of radiant flowers and the water crystal. I see. But how will you manage the journey with seas unnavigable? The inner sea was spared by some merciful stroke of fate, but no port or sandy shore exists on the Florum side. You might travel by land, but the forests along the way are suffused with a noxious fog. The path is most dangerous. Seems we're blocked on all sides. Any ideas? No, but the sage of the Yoyana woods may know some way. Then it's to the airship and to Yuliana and beyond. Say the word, Agnes, and I shall lend wings to your every whim. Just to Yuliana, please. Fantastic. So, we have our new objective at hand. However, like I said before, we need to wait until it's a little bit darker so that we can enter the Grand Mill and um, do some business there. But first, let's see. The Minister's Generosity, who is basically the right-hand man of the King, which is... Interesting to note their differing stances on treating the Vestal. So yeah, he has a piece of paper. Fantastic. Also, it left just as quickly as it came. That hailstorm is gone. Gandalf the cat was meowing a fucking meow storm out there. It was insane. Also, uh, what are they talking about? Something about... Oh, interesting. <laughs> they do like their sugar, despite being in the desert, where I'm sure... Sugar might be a little bit more difficult to come by, maybe. But no, we've got food, and, ah, birthing permission for the echelon. Nice. So, interesting. That's kind of weird that that was even an aspect they were worried about in the first place. <laughs> so, yep, we have to go to Florum. Awesome. And, yeah. <laughs> Yep, we've earned a rest. Let's enjoy it while we can. Probably, probably not so much. So, let's just wait until nightfall. I, I think if you sleep in the inn, it doesn't turn it into night, which is kind of a weird thing that time keeps turning, regardless. And I think if you go inside before, you know for sure it's dark. Um, perhaps the, set, the timer resets. Again, not entirely sure, but let's get in a fight to pass the time, shall we? Welcome to... Uh, allies killing panthers in the desert? In great case? What? Um, okay. So from the last part, I don't think I've changed anything. I was considering buying a multitude of things and, uh, I don't waste attack. And changing up some stuff, but overall I think everything is exactly the same. So I guess maybe, uh, tis, you know what? Screw it, let's try and steal some stuff. Uh, I'll show Life Thief, which you can restore your health by stealing it from somebody, so screw you, Kate Sith, you're not even the greater Kate. And let's just steal some regular other stuff. I don't think the panther will have anything, but... So, cake, and... Let's see what we got! Alright, our steal. Wow. Okay, what are we even fighting right now? Okay, beast liver. We took his liver! <laughs> like, his entire liver? Or... <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll take it. Looks like these enemies are significantly weaker than others that we've faced in the past, but... That's alright. Whew. So, I guess you should probably start saying goodbye to these lovely characters and their jobs that we've been getting oh so accustomed to lately because upon entering this next area, we will be endowed with two new jobs and um, both of which I would like to show in slightly greater detail. 
now twilight has passed and is now dark as heck, so we'll go and head to the mill where that guy said we could not enter, or he left his post for a bathroom break. And before we go, I think just because we have so much money and I was already on the fence about it, and it won't help, I think I'm going to buy Silence, Poison, and maybe Sleep. I was kind of on the fence, but I'll at least buy Silence, I'll at least buy Poison, and then I will buy Protect, which is, you know, something that raises physical defense. And then we'll wait on the others later. It won't be too long before we see that list again, so no worries there. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the Grand Mill Works, which I think we might have an introduction to soon enough. Nothing is anything over here. We will be getting into various fights here, so don't you worry the cute little faces about that. But heading in here. I think if you headed in here beforehand and uh, it was night but didn't have the key or the requirements for this, you wouldn't be able to be granted access. Hey, it opened! Seems this is the spot mentioned in that memo we found. Alright, cool. Indeed. <sighs> There's that theme again. God damn it. So welcome to the Grand Mill Works, ladies and gentlemen, where we find ourselves in yet another labyrinthian dungeon, which, thank god for that, I guess, not particularly, because it's not very interesting and it's kind of unusual and strange, but there are a lot of items we need to collect and we need to cover a lot of ground if we really want to be able to get them all, even though I think there's only like six items in here maybe. We'll still, we'll still try to collect most of them. For now, we will continue up to the third floor, I believe, and uh, do some pretty cool stuff. Now, like I said, you could have done this as soon as defeating the Chairman Profiteur, but I just like waiting till this point because I like having my other stats up. Anyways, we've got an instance of two new enemies we'll be fighting here, uh, Merchant Tree Thugs. Now, what's interesting enough is that there are two other varieties of these assholes, and then we got the Greater Kate. Haven't you been proven to be, like, really ineffective? No, but it's kind of funny because these merchantry thugs are actually, um, kind of strong. They are basically monks, and they can actually take you down very quick if you're not careful. So I will do exactly that. But first, let's show a little bit of a silence, although that won't help. A little bit of a poison. Uh, we'll go and probably throw in a little bit of blizzard just for a little bit, and we'll do in a, a dash of... Oh, it's... Oh, okay, it's Ringbell's turn. Okay, he can do something, too. Uh, let's just have him attack, shall we? I think one of these thugs will carry a dagger that I would really like to use, although I'm not 100% sure, so I'll be careful. And here, you know what? I'm gonna cast... Yeah, let's go cast Protect. Uh, I'll use it on Tiz, just in case. He's kind of a glass cannon right now. And then we'll go ahead and use a Thunder on everyone. And Tiz, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. These uh, mer 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 merchantry <laughs> foes are actually pretty tough. So I'm going to do some steals here, maybe one from each, and then I will go and attack one of each, and let's hope that this doesn't suck. Oh shoot, my bad. I had that on for some reason. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So he's dead. I, I, I think I just stole potion, right? That's it. And then, okay, these are greater Kates, not Kate Siths. Okay. Well, excuse me for getting my terminology wrong sometimes. Cool. Alright, so yeah, we'll be fighting blades as well as mages of the merchant tree variety. First, a dead end, because why the hell not? Oh man, alright. So this is actually kind of a cool place, but like I said, it's pretty samey to a lot of the other dungeons we've done so far. And Oh great, another BP. Okay, uh, here, let's just go ahead and hopefully... Oh, I think the blade is actually weak to lightning, I remember that, because I was thinking, man, probably our... I don't know, lightning rods, something, I don't know. Just gonna cast thunder a bunch though. Ring a bell, you can go hopefully take them out. And I think, actually, oh, I can use my special now, sweet. I don't know how, because I didn't, oh, maybe the, oh, maybe I was stealing stuff, I don't remember. Oh, this Agnes, what am I? Okay, fuck it, there we go, we'll just attack. And last but not least, I was wondering, I was like, how did I get it for Tiz? Uh, let's go and steal some stuff, see if these guys have the blade that I desire. And actually, let's just take care of them pretty quick here. Okay. So they're all braving, which means... Mage Masher, there it is! 
That's what I want. I think it is. I have to see how it stacks against the 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 other one. All right, good. Ring a bell. You're actually not being slow. <laughs> like I said, these monk guys, those ones, they will wreck you. Ooh, especially with that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh oh. Oh, you missed. That can do over 1,000 damage. I'm not even joking. For some reason, these guys are so powerful. Oh, and that does not help. That is ooh, a little terrifying. So typically, I like to take care of these guys as quickly as possible. Sometimes. Not going to be the case exactly. So let me take a look, because I think... Oh, I feel like early game was good Mage Masher. But I don't recall exactly. So Mage Masher is a dagger, and it causes silence. It's very weak. Um, so maybe I just got this really early game and liked it a lot. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, that probably won't be good for us. Wait a minute, though. Wait, wait just a minute. Let's take a double look at the special here for the dagger. So we specialize well in the dagger, and to use it, yeah, we just need to use an item five times in order to activate Ring of Bell's dagger ability, or just anybody's. Hmm. And if we still, if we stay with the rod, if we get a special, it'll be rejuvenation, which is not great. Oh yeah, speaking of. <laughs> Our set parts, uh, we, this is what it looks like when you are, you know, healing up Narende, which is already almost completely finished. Uh, I don't know why Plant Slaying is on that. <laughs> it's a beast. But yeah, you... Oh, excuse me, you have to be using a dagger for that, so... Okay, well, that quelled my curiosity. Uh, I guess it's just, it's time to... Yeah, just go and kill everybody as quickly as possible. And not let them do stuff. What's over here? Oh, that's to a completely different area. Yet another phoenix down. Because we needed so many of those. And I think this actually is where we need to go. So, oh great. So now we have one of each. I'm not particularly worried about that. So, you know what? Black magic, thunder, everybody. Maybe that'll actually work this time. And ring a bell, you can just, you know, clean up. That thug, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm, makes me a little nervous. So I'll try this a couple times. Tis, I don't really think you need to steal anything else from anyone, so let's get rid of that guy. And probably the mage, and then one for the blade. Let's do it! Alright. So, ooh, 7077. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I gotta love this thing, that critical, baby! Ooh! Man, Tiz, you're my best friend. And I love you. Just kidding. Ah, alright. Excellent. So, <laughs> out of pure morbid curiosity, I went to the store and I saw that they started selling hard Henry's soda, or Henry's hard soda or something, and it's basically just ridiculous, weird ginger ale, cherry soda, just like with alcohol in it. And so, being as curious as I was, I decided to pick up the orange creamsicle version, which is, what is it? I think it's just, I think it's just the orange soda, but I've been drinking it, and... While it's mm, only moderately tolerable, I've had like a six pack for like the past two months, which is just ugh. Now I gotta finish it off. And this is the last one. It's kind of painful to drink because they use cane sugar, which is bizarre. And somebody's beeping my car out there. <laughs> don't do that. But I mean, I don't know. It's weird because you wouldn't expect it to like give you a buzz or anything, so I was just like, eh, whatever. Oh, what? Okay. I don't- I honestly don't need to be doing this many times. Alright, Anya, just attack. Tiz, you can do your thing, I guess. Alright. So, yeah. And I also tried, uh- Oh, and he's charmed! He's in love with me! It's like, oh, I've had this thought in my mind for a while. I think I really like you, Tiz. Yeah, I also have, um, what was it? I have Coney Island Hard Root Beer, which I've had for a while, and then I had Not Your- not your dad's root beer or something. I don't know. It's weird. There's so many different varieties of that that it's it's a little unrealistic because they're not that good. Although I like the not your father's root beer a little bit better because it doesn't taste as fake. It just tastes like a vanilla beer. <laughs> Which is not that great to begin with, but... Eh. But enough about shitty alcohol. How are you? Have you drinking anything healthy today? Oh, and hey, check it out. It's already the Wanderer. Well, unfortunately, we need to get on the other side of that to make a way down. Or up, rather. 
So we must find two switches to progress and another battle. Alright, so I feel like that might have been a battle that would have been worth showing because um, I think it was the the, uh, the Merchant Tree Thug. He actually did a move called Eye Gouge that I've never seen before on uh, on Anyas, and it actually blinded her. So that was kind of a cool status effect to have for that, even though the animation with like her eyes being black like it was doesn't really make sense, but yeah, whatever. Boy, I sure love it when enemies get that enemy gets to strike first buff because it really makes these fights really fun when people can just wail on you for free just due to sheer dumb luck. Alright, there's a high potion. That's like our fifth item, right? I think we just have one more because it's just it's ridiculously easy to get to. And yeah, it's not really that bad. It's it's quite simple. So we'll go and collect. Oh, here's another one. And there's another one in the bottom left. What the heck? Oh, that's the uh, oh, okay, the blue the blue chest. Okay, so that should be it, I think. Cause I think oh you know what? We got a new we got a new uh knuckles thing, didn't we? I think we did. I think I'll I'll do declare we got ourselves the do do thumbing claws. We can cause blind on a hit, which is kind of nice. I think it's what those other monks were using, those thugs. Those assholes. So here's the switch to open half of the elevator door. Or I guess that might just be to power it, I don't know. Either way, it seems mm, ineffective as all hell, so I will deduct points for that. Uh, let's leave. And I uh, hope we don't get into too many fights. For being at 50%, or negative 50 I should say, we're getting into kind of a few more than I thought we would. Well, you know what? This this episode is probably going to be short enough, right? And I'm, we're not going to fight the boss in this one part, so welcome to another battle where we can just have fun and probably not killing everybody. Um, I should probably make an attempt to kill people with Adia, although I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go. Maybe if I go ahead and use some... Oh, I can't because I'm silenced. <laughs> I can still use these. Hmm. Can I can I choose who I use this on? Only ring a bell. Okay, he can only save himself. Okay, because they seem to attack his really frequently. Here, I'll default, and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this thug. This is a dick, and I will attack this one once, and hopefully Adia can get a couple of shots in, because I would like her special to be up all the way as she gets into the fight. So there, we're fine. You're gonna do you're gonna do great, ring a bell. And this guy's, yeah, carotid. Ooh, that was not actually that great. But congratulations, you actually landed a hit on us. So, ah, oh, you ruined our unscathed streak, good sir. Don't quite appreciate that. All right, but now we can actually make our way all the way back to that merchant because the first switch is actually <laughs> literally right next to the elevator. So it's just kind of annoying getting there. Not quite very fun. That's alright. We'll be getting into kind of an interesting dungeon here shortly. It's not really a dungeon, but it still kind of falls into that category of walk around, solve puzzles, and do other shit. Oh, wait! It's over here. I was not looking at my bottom screen. Testing, 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 testing. Are we, are we still good? Okay, sorry. I noticed during that battle that my frame rate was stuttering like crazy, and that was only because I'm playing on the on the uh, computer screen, on the monitor, so um, I had to reset the recording and it's so bizarre that that was happening because I don't typically have issues recording 3DS footage, but just a couple days ago I lost a pretty good portion of this, I'm not going to tell you where, but you're going to have to find out yourself, and um, yeah, it kind of sucked. Are you recording? You are. Good. But what's weird is because I have to reset Audacity whenever I, I start up the capture, so it looks like it's all still working, so it only gets worse from here on in. So next time on Bravely Default, this is where I take my leave, unfortunately at the end of the episode, I find that out, and um, we're gonna go ahead and, ooh, you know what, Lubu's spear is actually really enticing because it makes Ringabell a badass, but he's not gonna be a merchant for much longer, so I don't really care. I'd also give him another Angel's Bow if we wanted to switch Tiz and uh, Ringabell, but yeah. Not particularly necessary. And uh, we're going to be taking on the last of this side quest, the first of its kind. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next part, hopefully.